Hello. <coughs> oh, that's a good start. Straight into a cough. Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and a scenario I haven't decided to name yet because I haven't done it yet. Um, basically, I wanted to try out a battle cruiser, and uh, this one is being recorded live on Twitch. Um, and I've been encouraged to go with the French uh, rather than the Italians, who were my initial pick. Um, because Le Battle Cruiser is a nice sort of companion to the Super Battleship. And plus the French had a totally mental approach to uh, battleship design, um, pre-dreadnought design. So this might be fun. So the French are attacking a German convoy. Why not? Um, now they originally thought the Germans would just have a heavy cruiser, four lights, six destroyers in the transports. And they thought the one battle cruiser... You know, that should be able to get in, blow up the transports and get out. But the Germans knew that the French were going to try and intercept, and they have sent a battleship as well. So this is our challenge today. Uh, I felt like challenging myself with the battle cruisers today. Because I'm always hating on the battle cruisers um, and never, never actually playing with the damn things. Um, so here we go. The battle cruiser 3 hull. Which is interesting. The Vierge. Not bad. Uh, apologies to everyone in France who does actually watch my videos. <laughs> um, I, I know France is actually quite high up on my uh, list of uh, countries that watch my stuff. So I love France. Been there several times. Uh, we'll go with a triple funnel. This thing is going to be uh, designed for killing convoys, so it's going to be quite fast, I would have thought. Um, might be able to get a standard barbette in. Get a secondary one in. Maybe. No. Not with that tower, anyway. And then on the back. Yeah, we could go for a four turret design, perhaps. Hmm. Let's have a look at the guns. Now, this is 1925 tech. 14 inch. Why did it have to be 14 inch? That's the highest mark. I hate 14 inch guns. Oh, hello. It's quite the accuracy bump to 12. Uh, oh, hello. 11 is an interesting pick because it's a mark 4. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Why do I hate 14 inch guns? Good question, Fremhas. Um, uh, actually, uh, well, by the time this is on YouTube, I'll have the Rule of Three video up, um, which is another kind of tutorial shipbuilding 101 that I've done. Basically, the 14 is a disappointing 15 inch gun. <laughs> that, that, like, Every time I use 14-inch guns, I wish I had brought 15-inch guns. That's basically how it worked. Um, I could have called it the rule of three. So 9s, 12s, 15s, and 18s are kind of where you want to be. Uh, and then you either go down, which is disappointing, or you go up, which gives you a harder-hitting, punchier gun at the expense of rounds per minute. But obviously it depends on marks and what you're firing at and all sorts of other things, but that's, that's a kind of rough rule. So I either go with 9s, 12s, or, or 15s uh, as a baseline. Um, and of course, 14-inch guns are a Mark three, so they're more appealing than the 15s, but I know that if I go with 14-inch guns, I will regret it. <sighs> uh, yes, W, you're thinking of uh, 1940s tech, where... So late game, if you're playing the custom battles in 1940, 15 is the last Mark IV gun before you get onto the Mark III's. Um, I'm just not sure. So. I'm going to go on accuracy being king. And the 11s, well, you wouldn't expect them to, actually have a higher accuracy 
I'm pretty much building a heavy cruiser at this point. <laughs> Higher accuracy and better rate of fire because they're Mark IVs. So let's go with these guys and let's go with triples. Although, am I allowed a small above it? Normally, I can't bring the medium. maybe makes a bit more sense that is an enormous four weight also here we go Well, um, this battle cruiser is not being designed to take on battleships. So this this ba a battle cruiser is only expecting. Well, I'm, I'm kind of having to imagine a bit. Um, ooh, snag time. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, basically, you know, this is designed as a convoy hunter. The French did not expect this thing to come against a battleship, and my reasoning is, you know, it attacks the uh, convoy. And it sees a bigger ship in the middle. And thinks, well, that's the heavy cruiser. We know there's a heavy cruiser assigned. No, our pets for Millie's asleep. I will go and give her pets, don't you worry. Um, and suddenly they realize, uh-oh, too late. That is not... <laughs> that is not a heavy cruiser. That is a battleship. Um, kind of a mistaken identity kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go with 11 inch guns, They're pretty rapid firing, um, should be able to deal with a heavy cruiser, which is kind of the heaviest thing we're expecting the Germans to have escorting their uh, convoys. Um, secondary guns, I think I'm just going to go with sixes. Placement on that one. Okay. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> uh, mm, still got a bit of a four weight offset. Uh, that's probably because I can fit more secondary guns down here. Lots and lots of six inch guns and perfectly balanced as to boot. Okay, so six inch guns are for murdering the lighter stuff and then we have the 11 inch for kind of killing and the killing escort ships. I think the French would think that that was a pretty murderous convoy killer. Uh, but, you know, mm, designers aren't an idiot. Or is not an idiot. He's going to be worried about torpedoes. So he's going to put torpedo tubes. Uh, worried about torpedoes. Worried about, you know, they consider the possibility that this thing might end up blundering into something heavy. So we've put some torpedo tubes on just in case. Uh, 22 inch fast torpedoes. Why not? Um, maximum bulkheads, obviously. Um, no range because it's designed to rate Germans who are right next to France. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no I, I would need the torpedoes in this case. Um, Auto loaders with advanced hydraulic turrets, range finder, coincidence for murdering transports. Probably have the high TNT. Mm, standard shells are probably absolutely fine for what this is designed to do. Uh, oh god, wait. Uh, oh no, all or nothing scheme. Um, oil, gear turbines, script 4. Give ourselves a little bit more weight to play around with. Can she do 34 on natural boilers? She can. 
you 35 knots. 35 knots. Nice round number. Um, Orcs diesel. Oh, sh Shiver my timbers, right. Go with many. I know heresy. Um, Do, 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 do. I know short range from a commerce reader, but it, in the custom battles, at the least, it is dead weight. Um, and I'm kind of reasoning, you know, if it's France v Germany, it doesn't need particularly long range. Pop out, sink some German ships, pop back. Um, I really do not like this ship. This is a bit, this is a very bad ship. I think it's got too much in the way of guns, and it's going to die horribly. But uh, that might be fun to watch. So why not? Uh, see if we can fix that. Fix that weight offset. Yeah, exactly. Rating in the channel. Uh, right, let's try her out. The Vieja. Uh, exactly. <laughs> French need the help. Oh my. One thing I I will say is you can tell a lot from the silhouettes. That heavy cruiser is a murderous beast. And in fact, I think the heavy cruiser looks as nasty as our battle cruiser does, just from the silhouette. The battleship, I do not know what they're doing. They've stuck the A turret on a barbette. But there is no other turret on the front. And they've got a turret on the back. And nothing else. But they're big. So, yeah, who knows. Very strange ship. Smoke spotted to the north. Well, one thing we don't know in the campaign is... Uh, how much geography is going to play a part, like, and uh, which nation you play, like, what kind of starts they're going to get and stuff. I'm really curious to see that. I, mean, I know that it's not always going to be a case that Britain and France are allies and against Germany or anything like that, but... <laughs> Civil War monitor? Yeah. We haven't got eyes on it yet, but uh, the silhouette was a bit odd. So here we go, merrily sailing in to kill this convoy. See, while I'm remembering, switch the torpedoes off. No radar, of course. And looks like we've been spotted. Oh, the heavy cruiser is firing us on us from a great distance, Captain. Seems to be... Seems to be commander. All right, let's have a look. So we see this ship, which is as weird as in then, with 
16 or 17 inch guns on it. But I could see that being mistaken for a heavy cruiser from a distance. Like, you see the two turrets? Like, oh, he has two turrets, Captain. Oh. You don't see the, the casemates. A very strange tower set up. I mean, it's a cool looking ship. Why on earth this is on a barbette? I have no idea. That's just, that's just dead weight. No reason to... Oh, no, there is a reason. So you can fit lots of tiny little guns on the front. That is the... That is bizarro weird stuff. Look at the set... Oh, wow, what a strange ship. 17 inch. Yeah, it one messed up battleship. It certainly is. And our shells just bounced off. Uh, we're probably better off with HE, to be honest. Well, we don't have any other targets. So we might as well close the distance. Well, other ships are firing on us, but we haven't seen them yet. Okay, what have we got here? I think that's a light cruiser. Hmm. <laughs> the Germans are on drugs. Uh, probably. Hey, YouTube, don't strike me. Don't do drugs, kids. And Germans do not do drugs, probably. I mean, some will, but... I'm not making a thing about Germans either. Don't strike me. Don't strike me. Uh, <laughs> okay. Transports! That's what we want. You. Main guns. Fire on the transport. Because, uh... This convoy is a little hotter than we were expecting. Torpedoes on that weird ass battleship. Oh, we took a hit. No, oh, that ain't good. From a 9 inch gun? From, well, probably a heavy cruiser. Kill the transport. Ooh, we're in range with the secondaries. Okay, secondaries on the transport. Mains. See if you can kill off, I know, one of those. Ooh, nice hit. Really nice hit. Look at that. Look at that flooding damage. <laughs> the SMS Oktoberfest. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, six inch shells do a hell of a lot of damage to those transports. Please with that. You put Lederhusen on a battleship? I'm sure, I'm sure it is possible. Well, that's more of a Bavarian thing. Good hits. Goodbye, warship. It was not a warship. <laughs> it was a transport. Okay. Secondary guns on that merchant ship. Mains. What are we firing at? Well, something over here. All right. Ooh, 
good hits on that light cruiser. <laughs> An oompa band on board. Oompa, oompa. <laughs> I took out one of my secondary guns. How rude. a lot of miss. Oh, we've uh, identified the battleship. Let's have a look at her. The Weissenberg! Yep, 17-inch guns, 6-inch casemates, 3s, 2s, and 2s. Jesus, not particularly heavily, am heavily armoured. Mm. Tough ship, though. Cordite. Oh, hello. Well, that's interesting. Mm, 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 mm. What is the beverage of choice tonight? I have uh, this. <laughs> and I have this. Other beverages are available. Ooh, oh, there we go. Big hits on that transport. And <laughs> no guns. Oh, is this one their light cruisers? Yeah, it is. Wow, that is paper thin armor. Fast, minimum bulkheads. Yikes. And seven inch guns. No torpedoes. Well, isn't that interesting? We I need one of their destroyers yet? No. But no torpedoes is an interesting development. <laughs> Can of beans? Don't ban me, Twitch. Not a paid promotion. <laughs> it's a Coke Zero. In a can. Otherwise, I'd just be doing Ultimate Admiral this. Because <laughs> today was my first day back at work actually teaching. So, I'm, I am a little on the tired side. Okay, uh, six inch guns, could you, that, that must be the heavy cruiser then, right, mains on the heavy, <laughs> almost as bad, what's wrong with Coke Zero, other beverages are available. Why did the from us? Whilst you may think that I'm a beer swilling maniac, um, I don't like beer. <laughs> Tastes too bitter to me. I have a lot. I have a, lot, a very very sensitive to bitter tastes, so I'm not a big fan of beer. And as I said before, cider, mm. and I do have something instead of beer. Miss, 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 miss. Where are, what's our torpedo range? Eight, six, all right.
Gonna have to close in a little bit if we want to get some uh, torpedoes off on the battleship. Okay, here we have the Vienetta. Oh, sorry, not the Vienetta. That's an ice cream. <laughs> Vienetta! Uh, with nine inch guns. Okay. By transport. Oh, we've spotted another one. Not sure how many they have left, but it's it's not nothing. <laughs> okay, we can easily catch the Weissenberg, which is good. We still need to watch out for their destroyers, though, which they do have somewhere. Good hit on that light cruiser. Was that a six inch? Oh no, an 11 inch shell meant for the heavy cruiser. Clip the light cruiser instead. This is school night. Yeah, there goes the condor. That's a turn up for the books. I think they had four light cruisers, so they've still got quite a few lying around. Fire and flooding on, well, one of the transports, I think. Yeah, those six inch standard high TNT shells just doing solid work. Here's another merchant. Oh, well, that must be the destroyers over there. Vaping. in that cloud over there? Probably. Yeah, we're not doing much damage to that heavy cruiser still. We're going to need to switch to AP, I think. Although, if we've killed the Undine, that would be uh, handy. Mm, no, I don't think we have. Starting to spot destroyers now. Uh, TB dies. Uh, it was not a TB, it was a TR, but okay. Easy mistake to make. Right. Any more transports we can shoot at? Doesn't look like it. What's this? Oh, that's a destroyer. Hello. I notice they have a quintuple torpedo launcher, which uh, I dislike. The uh, enemy heavy cruiser is in torpedo range, but uh, nothing else is. I'm going to switch to auto, see if we can't get some hits on the heavy cruiser. Yeah, the AI doesn't like closing into brawl very much. It will do it. Um, but it, it, it tends to be somewhat averse to that, which is why it can be quite a good tactic against it. Um, because it, it doesn't like it. Miss. Miss. Where's our actually like? Seven, eight. Oh shit, where do they come from? Hard to starboard. 
All stop. <laughs> yes, Captain America. Oh, I don't think we're going to be able to avoid those ones. Flank. Ow. Well, <laughs> it was going well <laughs> till we ate some torpedoes. God damn it! Oh well, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that, YouTubers, uh, Twitch. <laughs> I gotta keep going.